Hi everybody, I know it's been so long since I made a video and you can probably tell by the sound of my voice. I've been sick for a very long time. <clears throat> I didn't have COVID, but I had some kind of respiratory virus and I got it in the first week of November and I'm still not completely rid of, rid of it. I'm about 80% better, but um, it's now the beginning of Yule and I was hoping to have this filmed before Yule, but between um, getting, you know, gifts and cleaning when I can because uh, my energy level has been crap. <clears throat> I just didn't have the time so I'm going to film this and I probably won't put another video up until after the new year because my daughter is home from, univers from <clears throat> university. Sorry, my voice is going to be cracky this whole time. My daughter's back from university and I would like to spend some time with her so I'm just going to um, have this video up. And, uh, yeah, so this is basically a, uh, collective haul from the VIP Rouge, Rouge sale. I apologize for my voice. Um, I got some of this at the VIP Rouge sale. There was also, like, they had individual sales, like, some sales on, um, uh, Peter Thomas Roth had one day of sales. One day there was, um, I want to think, uh, Beauty Blender was on sale. And there were also one day where everybody had 20% off. So I don't even know why they bothered to have a sale. But it was a 20% off one time use. So this is my summary of everything I got. So hope you enjoy. I'll go through it. And then if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to go through this box fairly quickly. I got to say a lot of this took a very long time to get here. Um, the stuff from the roof sale, I never stopped get. I, well, basically, I never stopped getting any packages until yesterday. What day before? What's today? The 21st. It's 22nd. Anyway, long story short, it took a long while to get here. Well, first of all, I had to, this is winter time, I had to brush up on my, uh, you know, my favorite moisturizers. And it's the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And this is the original Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And then we have, this one is the, um, <laughs> the Gia, I can't pronounce, sorry guys, my voice is going, um, this is a new one called, uh, for Floristic Cream, and it's made with a retinol and, uh, canary oil, on collagen. Like, you guys know how I feel about collagen. There's only two ways to get collagen in your body, and that's by injecting it or eating it. So, topical collagen is kind of like a buzzword, but I really like the smell of this. This is really, really good. I don't know if you guys see in these containers. I got one over there. It's, um, this is a more, uh, this is a more traditional scent, and this is the more floral scent. And the main difference is, like, this is, like, supposed to be, like, a tightening cream. But they're both very moisturizing. Um, as far as tightening goes, I don't really see much difference. I just like to smell of both of them, so I like to mix it up. Um, I also got this little sample kit of um, Origins mask sets. I love the Origins. Origins. Sorry, guys. Not oranges, but Origins. <laughs> I seriously can speak English. It's just today. And I can see you got the sample mask. I can't open it because it's going to be like a, under a Christmas tree. So I can't open it. But it's a little like a different mask set. There's like uh, like charcoal ones and everything. Let me just put it up close and hold on. Let me not be out of focus. And you can probably pause it and take a look for yourself. Which one's it in. But it's basically samples of all the masks they offer. Um. If you've been watching me a long time, you know I use lip plumpers as like a, uh, oh it is shiny, as of like a um, skincare, part of my skincare. And usually I buy the, um, what do I want to say, is it the Tarte? Too Faced, sorry. I usually use the Too Faced plumpers and I get a set Christmas time. But it was like $38 for three small ones or this one with the four, the Buxom which is also pretty good and um, is was cheaper than that. So I got this on sale. So I decided to try to box them. I had box them years ago. I really do like it. Um, 
you can see the colors if you're interested in colors. I just use it to put on at night time for like a lip treatment. Next, I got these two uh, box double boxes of their UK setting spray. I usually go through these a lot. Uh, Pre-pandemic, I go through one a month um, since the pandemic has happened. And since where I live, there's a really bad respiratory virus going around, which I caught anyway. I've been wearing a mask again, and I'm also immunocompromised, so I didn't even go anywhere. I went to physiotherapy, which is in a hospital, so I guess I walked through the hospital and must have some. But anyway, long story short, I bought these. Um, they might last me a little bit longer. Um, these usually come out Christmas time and then the summer, during the summer sale, and I'll double up on these, so that's one. I didn't get any like uh, eyeshadow palettes or anything like that because I have more than enough. Um, so I'm mostly skincare and hair, a bit of hair care. The only thing I didn't get that I usually get is Oliplex. But the last couple of times I used Oliplex, it stripped the color right out of my hair. So I'm just taking a break from Oliplex and just trying to use it when I absolutely need to instead of using it weekly. But it's not a diss on Oliplex. It's just that, um, I don't know where I'm getting more gray hairs now. And when I get it dyed. Um, the Oliplex just eats the fucking dog. But anyway, I got this little set. This is cool. This is the uh, Pharmacy Holiday Trio. The Pharmacy Cream. And these three little minis kind of add up to a one regular size. So they're really good. And come in different flavors there. A different scents, I should say. Not flavors. Um, this was on sale. Um, they're 50 mils each. So 150 mils, which is about... I'm trying to look over here and see what a regular size one is. Yeah, a regular size one is 150 mils. But I was gonna either get this or the 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 large one because you can get a large one. But I said I want to get this one because I wanted to try the different scents. That's all I thought it was cute. Also, I got uh, perfume. <laughs> I'm gonna picture this now. I got the. It's hard to roll your R's when you have a cold. So, um, or whatever the fuck I have. I have the Super Pacific um, Cocoa Extreme. Uh, once again, can't open it. Oh, clear. Can't open it because it's going to be underneath the tree. And yeah, that's it for that. Um, it's basically a really nice vanilla um, cocoa smell, like uh, raw cocoa. Um, for my hair, the only thing I got was Living Proof Conditioner. I go through this a lot. If you have anywhere between wavy, curly hair, this is expensive, but it is worth it. Uh, a bottle usually lasts me um, about two months, and I go through like a big, like I do a big old dab, sometimes three, because um, in the wintertime, I don't wash my hair as often because my hair is very dry and brittle. Um, anybody with... 3C and above hair will know what I'm talking about. You'll have dry hair and it's just brittle. So I tend to I use a leave-in conditioner or a leave-in moisturizer in my hair to stop it from the minus temperatures getting to it and cracking off. So, but in the summertime, I go through about one bottle a month or one bottle every two months, sorry. Uh, but in winter time, I just would last me three months, like pretty much the whole winter. Um, I usually put like a more protective styles or whatever so I don't wash it as much or you know anybody with curly hair will know what I'm talking about I love this stuff this is the Peter Thomas Roth this was on a separate they had like 50 percent off one day and this is the um, pumpkin uh, enzyme mask now I hate the smell of pumpkin I really do it's disgusting this smells like a real pumpkin so I hate it but it works really really well and I don't use this stuff in the summertime. I use it in the winter because my skin gets so dry on my on my face. It literally will not peel off. Like my skin will just like uh, cake on. And I have to like need a physical exfoliant. I have a chemical exfoliant. But I find in wintertime I need a physical exfoliant. And this is the best one that doesn't. Um, it has an enzyme so it helps to break down the, the dead skin. So you don't have to like really scrub your skin and irritate the fuck out of it. Um, it does like leave my face a little red afterwards, but it's not burning or anything like that. Oh, speaking of burning, when I was talking about the limp plumpers, 
these lip plumpers. These are like burn your lips off lip plumpers, and I like them that way. If they don't come that way, I don't want them. That's just the way I like them. Uh, I don't have much left now. I have, um, I wasn't going to get this because the one I got last year was too dark for me. The go I got the ghost one the year before, and that one matches me perfectly on very, very first game. But this is the Hourglass Ambient. Well, I can't swatch it, but after Christmas, um, after Yule's over, if you want me to swatch it or do a swatch video, I can. I'm sure there's about 50 million of them here. It was nice this year. They upped the game in a metal case. Very beautiful. And I'm fair skinned. So these are all like fair skin friendly. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, I believe these two shades are existing shade. Hold on. Not even in frame. These two shades are existing shades. Um, that one I believe is an existing shade. These are all new shades, I believe. So um let me just quickly compare it to hold on here. My ghost palette, which is gonna look like it's never used, but it's used a ton, a lot. See this ghost parrot that came out like not last year, but the year before. And I bought the one last year, my daughter has it now because um I did read all the reviews, I watched all the YouTube videos, and it said it was light like, skin friendly, and is it wasn't light like, skin friendly. And I'm like uh porcelain with pink undertones, so as you can see, uh, this powder is a repeat in here. Um, but everything else is not a repeat. So if you have this palette in your fair skin, this one is not a repeat. And it's uh, three new shades in there. So, yeah, that is a good thing. Like, I needed another one of these palettes, but that's it. I think it just caught my ugly face in the mirror. <laughs> I don't have any eyebrows on. For those guys who don't, who've been with me a long time, I don't have eyebrows. Because I survived through the 90s. And I lost them. <laughs> I was really sick and I lost my eyebrows a long time ago, but that's another story. If you see me in front of the camera, I usually have them on. But anyway, I'm really excited to try this. Um, what else I got here? I bought my favorite lashes and a new lash glue. So these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills lashes in... Um, dreamy and they look really big but where i am uh hooded eyes it covers about that much so when i have my eyes open it covers about that much from there to the band so these are perfect these look like regular lashes on me i bought four of them um for you my hair because i'm using one right now well not on my face as we're talking but you know what i mean um let's see got some new glue because um they were at a duo glue on the website for a long time, and I thought it was being discontinued. So I got, instead I was using, hold on, you're just going to see how this stuff's going to hang around there. I was using this, oh my god, everything's sticking to it. Look, everything's sticking to it. Ah. I was using this uh, Allure one, and it's crap, I'm telling you right now. It's like, it never, not that I'm complaining it never draws because duo draws but it draws like in a um easy easily to take out formula like it won't go nowhere unless you like really pull on your lashes or something but this stuff it's like i had to reapply it during the day never again um so i bought some uh the duo i also got i love this stuff for taking off eye makeup i use a lot of pigments if you know me you know me you know i use a lot of pigments and um so in order to use a pigment you definitely need an eye primer on um you're not going to raw dog your pigments because you're going to stain the fuck out of your eyes and this is just a by face by oh my god by face product um that i just used to it just will last me forever i bought one last time i bought one was like a year ago or more and it uses a little bit on a q-tip to clean like lashes or to take off eye makeup and so what you do is like you can see it look, looks like it's only half full but it's a five phase product so you give it a good shake and it mixes together like this and then you put a little q-tip in and put it on your eye or whatever way you want to use it it's really good for uh really pigmented stuff i mean it's not for cleaning your whole face you still need to wash your face 
remember double cleanse like uh, if you use white wipes or this this is not going to get yourself clean you need to cleanse and last but not least i know this is old but i just cut on this year because my laura mercier puff was irritating this shit out of my skin so i bought i bought two of these because these were on sale the uh little um what are you called um beauty blender power puffs what they're called yeah and this one i'm already using so that's why it's open and if you've never ever used one of these run go get one it was on sale but i think they're regularly 19 dollars canadian and you got like a this is a side for your powder this is a blotting side for if you get oily i don't really use the side very much and this is not for liquid, so don't use liquid on this because you will stain it and it'll never come off. But um, it's very soft velour and you, to puff on your powder underneath your eyes or set your powder on your face. Love it. I have <coughs> this one is kind of stained, so I'm sorry. I had this Lori Mercier Power Puff. It's a little stained. Um, I do wash it, <laughs> and this is like I don't know if it's just me because I'm rough. Like, everybody tells me I'm rough when I put my powder on. But to me, this, if I t even though I lightly tap, it, first of all, it can't, it's too big for under eyes. And secondly, I find it rough. Like, maybe I'm doing it too hard or something, but I find it really rough on my skin. So, I know these came out, like, two or three years ago. But I'm just catching on, and I'm not turning back. This is, like, fucking a miracle. So... Also, I got these little samples, which I always get these samples, the boner samples when you can, because these are really good for liquid under the eyes. This is what I've been using. So this one came with a little, oh, test with a little water on top of it to see how much it, you know, it grew. But these little, and this is a little sponge. I already have, I didn't buy any other sponges from the sale because I have a ton of sponges, I think, spring sale. Two years ago, I bought a bunch at spring sale two years ago, and I still have, oh my god, I'm going to break this now. I still have two left. So these are the regular, I think it was the Easter sale, actually, because it came out with purple ones. So these are, these are beauty blenders, and the one I'm using right now is over my desk, and I'm not reaching over for it because I'm going to knock everything over. But yeah, these little sample ones are good for you. It's like how cute is that little beauty blender like this is without water so it gets bigger but this is really good for a liquid under the eyes or liquid blush um i don't know about you but if i use my beauty blender for liquid blush um and i also use it for like my foundation it gets all messy so i just like to use an individual sponge so not to confuse with these these are only for powder so powder products on these only and these are for liquid products. Although some people use them for powder as well, but I don't see the benefit in that, not for me anyway. So, oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's all I got for the Sephora sale. Um, I got some, I thought these were cute. Um, I always, I was getting PR from this company for a long time, but after, during the pandemic it stopped. So Kiss, I was getting PR from Kiss for a long time and then it stopped, but I was at Walmart the other day and I saw these ones and I had to get them. These ones were $19.99 um, Canadian and these ones I didn't realize until after I checked, did the self-checkout and left in the parking lot and wonder why my bill was so high. I bought a lot of stuff that day at Walmart so I didn't realize, but these were $23 and I don't know if you can see they're like, the light's getting on, but they're really, they're, they're like, um... A purple they look kind of blue on camera there I might adjust the color but they're purple and they got like all these stones in them and I love the I love the kiss nails I'm a kiss nail fanatic I love them ever since I stopped doing my own nails I had to because um, because of my medical condition uh, I'm a sensitive to UV light and you know when you put your hand underneath the nail dryer or the nail dryer to cure your, your acrylic nails um, I would be sick for days and wonder why, and it was because uh, of my lupus. I'm sensitive to the sun, so it's UV light. And I never talked twice about it until my hands started to um, 
look older than what they are. I was getting like a lot of age spots. My hands were swollen up, things like that. So I was like, no, I can't go back to get my nails done, which is kind of sad because I do like get my nails done. But if you're the kind of person who don't want to spend the money to get your nails done or um, you're like me and you're sensitive to like either the glue or the, or the fucking UV light or whatever, then go ahead and buy Kiss Nails. Always the best. I get, I never wear gloves or anything. I do housework in them and I'll get a good solid week out of them, right? Good solid week. So it's good for if you're going on a uh, trip or you're going to a party or Christmas or New Year's Eve, whatever, whatever your thing is. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and I really missed filming and I'm sorry my voice is so cracky and I'm in my PJs. So um, yeah, I'm just chilling. Um, I don't know what videos are coming up next. I'll let you know. Uh, so everybody, happy Yule, happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, whatever you celebrate, Kwanzaa, whatever your thing is. I hope everybody stays safe and sound and I'll see you in the new year. Uh, got any questions, comments, concerns, please write down below. Any of the things you want to hear a review on, leave down below in the comment section and I'll get to you. And uh, anyway, I hope you all have a great holiday. You're all safe and enjoy your families, okay? Love you guys. Bye.